So today for the PRLA short take, I'm delighted to have with me Carrie Lepore. Carrie is the uh, Deputy Secretary and runs the tourism office for the state of Pennsylvania. Welcome, Carrie. Good to have you with us. Thanks so much for having me, John. We have really enjoyed the partnership between your office and your terrific team and you and the PRLA and all of our travel partners around the state. You, got, you guys do such a great job uh, in promoting travel and tourism in Pennsylvania. Thank you for that. Thank you. I really think that it's a team effort and your support and friendship um, of everything we do is, is just so appreciated. So right now, it's really hard to promote travel and tourism into Pennsylvania when people aren't traveling. And in most of the states around us and in Pennsylvania still, we're in a shelter in place order. So you've come up with a creative way to continue to be engaged with the, the traveling public through the new campaign called Pursue Your Hominess. Can you tell me about that? Absolutely. As you know, our tagline is Pennsylvania Pursue Your Happiness. And while we can't necessarily invite visitors to Pennsylvania right now, we thought what better way to still engage with them to pursue their hominess from the comfort of their own home. So the Pursue Your Hominess effort is uh, its a campaign designed to take the experiences, our iconic experiences in Pennsylvania, and bring it into the homes of our fans, followers, and supporters. So does this also give them a way to occupy their time if they're a little bit bored sitting at home? Absolutely. Um, and that includes me. So uh, we are really excited to bring these experiences virtually into their homes. So we have a whole diverse offering of things for you to interact with in Pennsylvania. If you go to visitpa.com, you'll see the Pursue Your Hominess image right on our homepage. If you click on it, you'll be taken to another page where there's about 37 different offerings right there on the page to visit our museums virtually, um, have all different types of experiences, view some battlefields, really engage with our history, our culture, everything. And then in addition to that, we're also offering live moments and tips via our social media pages as well. Wow, what a terrific effort. So as they're going through and experience them virtually, hopefully they're making the list of all the places they wanna go as soon as the order's lifted, huh? Absolutely, and that's exactly what we're hoping to do. The call to action in all of this is explore now, visit later. So we wanna remain top of mind with all of our fans, followers, supporters, visitors, to again, just have them be excited about Pennsylvania so when the order is lifted, they can visit. Sounds great. And as always, Kerry, we really appreciate your energy, enthusiasm, and the effort you put behind marketing this great state. Once we get through this pandemic, we're going to be the natural place for everyone to come visit because it's so easy to get here for so many people by car. Absolutely. We've been doing um, a lot of research, like so many of my colleagues in the tourism space have around the, not just the state, the country, but the world. Um, so we've been doing a lot of research and everything right now is showing us that as travel restrictions are lifted, as people are starting to uh, show some interest in traveling again, it's going to begin as a hyper uh, local baby steps to get them back out on the road. Um, so we think that Pennsylvania is perfectly positioned. We are in a two hour drive of so many people and we're really, really excited to start welcoming people back to Pennsylvania. Well, Carrie, thanks so much for being with us today and keep up the great work and stay well. Thanks, John, you too. Okay, that's it for this edition of PRLA Short Takes. Thanks for tuning in.